Got a mailbox outside here going nowhere. Oh, y'all think I'm playing. Did not the Bible say that the that man was exercised? He was delivered of his demon. Yeah. One demon. And, the, and it was cast out into dry places, the Bible says. And, 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 he, and he said, listen, I'm tired of being out here in these dry places. Yeah. So I'll tell you what, I wish I could do dry places. That place is no fruit. It's no yeah, irrigation. Yeah, yeah. It's no way to grow, no way to develop. I can't multiply. I'm uncomfortable in a dry place. It's not going back home. That's what the text said. Uh -huh. Any place you go home is a comfortable yeah. place. Yeah. 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 Or it ought to be. Yeah. If you ain't comfortable in your own home, you can tell that you need to move. Well. You in somebody's house. You got to move in your now because it affects your faith. It affects your fortune. It affects everything that I want to have. Everything I want to achieve. And I don't mean material things because you don't need to be saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost to get that. You just need to have a job with some credit. You can buy anything you want to buy. <laughs> you can become the president of the United States. Y'all okay. catch that. Yeah. You ain't got to know God. Right. To acquire stuff. The devil will bless you too if you hang around. Right. But lastly, and most importantly, it will affect your future. Yeah, yeah. If you don't understand how to deal with your what? No. Mm -hmm. If the what is the immeasurable abundance of more than I can actually think, what is he going to do? This is what he's going to do. He's going to do immeasurably more. Chelsea. But on the positive side, he's going to balloon my faith. Uh -huh. Maximize my fortune and give me a future that I never, not me. Do you know Martin Luther King, when he was 10, 11 years old, he had no idea he was going to do what he did? There comes a time in your life, God moves you to a place of assignment. And some people walk away from that assignment because they don't want to be responsible. But God is trying to give you a future greater than you have ever imagined. Uh -huh. Most of us in this room, when you were young, you had ideas of being everything else other than what you are right now. Yes. Yes. You had a whole other thought, y'all talk to me. Yes. Yes. But through life's twists and turns and curves and ups yes. and downs yes. and suddenly unavoidable situations, uh -huh. you find yourself right here. Now the question is now, now, that didn't happen by happenstance, you know. Uh, you, God has you right where He needs you to be. Because you know what God has His hands on you, He don't let you go. Amen. Amen. Some people, God will just, you know, okay, go ahead, do you. Right. But I'm so glad I'm one of them. God says, no, 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 no. not you. Get me go. <laughs> Sometimes you can look at me and the Holy Ghost like my mama used to look at me like. <laughs> oh, you sit across the church and look at you go. Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah. You start crying for your legal seat. Because <laughs> you know the house you that so you ain't just in trouble now. So you you worry about what's to come, thinking when you hear me. See, ain't about the now. See, that means I'm going to get you later. Me and my brother Xavier, we should go to sleep in the car. And hope we come out the car like this and hope we go hoping he wouldn't put me while I'm asleep, will he? Yeah, he will. Wake up real good. Oh, I forgot. Go and get out the clothes. You do at the church. You're the pastor. But God wants to bless your 
future. You got to stop trying to navigate your future of what you got and what you see and what someone said and let God lead your future. Because he wants to do immeasurably more than you can actually think. You can't do it because if you did, you've done it already. You wouldn't be saying, if I could, I would have should have. So I need God to help me to move in my now. So my faith is affected. My fortune, because I got to have something to work with. Now faith is a substance of things over. I got to have something to work with. And I understand, I, I, I'm excited about a seed, because a seed is, 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 is the beginning of my success. Yes. Yes. I ain't mad about a seed, because without a seed, I have no harvest. Amen. I told you, you want a job, you want to be an entrepreneur? Go to Peace Market and get you a couple of bags of greens, watermelons. Yeah, what? Yeah. Go get you a couple of bags of watermelons. A couple of packets, some watermelon seeds. Get you about three, four packs. Go in the backyard. Plant. Keep two and sell the rest. Replant them again. Keep two and sell the rest. Replant them again. Before you know it, you got to borrow folks' yards. Because you got a yard full of, because you, you just replanting the seeds, you planting the seeds. But the whole summer, all you did was sell watermelons. You were an entrepreneur. Y'all not hear it. You controlling your own destiny. Your fortune. But if you don't move in your now, if you don't think like you belong, stop waiting on somebody to validate you. If I'm moving, I'm moving my now because I know the next now is greater than the last now. I'm going somewhere in my life. I'm not just talking a good game. I'm actually doing it. And if we're not always, yeah, I'm going to face some trials and tribulations, some setbacks, some uncomfortable situations, some suddenness, but that's okay. But when I know I'm, watch this, it ain't just about me. I got to bless those with me. See, that, that's where the real blessing come in, and I'm done. If what you're doing is for selfish reasons, God ain't going to bless you. And how do I know God had his hands on me? Because I could have went left many times. Yeah. I gave y'all a few testimonies. I could have been, I could have been somebody else. Yeah. Many times. Yeah. But God did me like uh, 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 he did uh, Jonah. There's a few times, listen, and, and, and I don't really understand that you can backslide and be in church at the same time. Folk think backslide is for you left church. And you got to come back. I found out by first hand experience that you can be a backslider and be a church every Sunday. What you mean? Because I was. I'm going to say this on Big Dumb. Because I had an attitude with God. Oh, so she's going to just let me play baseball. Get you. Can I be transparent? Yeah. Yeah. I ain't doing nothing. Most of y'all don't remember. I sit back in church. I, I would, I would start playing double headers and semi pro baseball on Sunday mornings. I get back by the end of Sunday service. Yeah. Yeah. Sit back in the back with my uniform on. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care because I'm mad because you pushed me past my prime. You're not opening doors for me. Yeah. I ain't trying to do nothing else but play baseball. So I, I wasn't playing drums. Go yeah. wouldn't let me go. Yeah. I was on the brink of making decisions that would take my life somewhere else. Might have been dead, locked up, who knows. That's right. But God pulled me back. You got to understand, you ought to celebrate when God got his hands on you. Because there's some folk I knew I grew up with, he let them go. But every time Jonah ran, he ended up running in the 
God. Uh, and find out he, 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 by the time he got on the ship, going in a whole other direction. When God told him, go, I ain't doing that, Joseph, so I ain't doing it, I ain't doing it. I hear you talking, I ain't doing it. I want to do something else. And it was on the ship with them fellas and the storm came and they said they had enough sense to know something wrong. God is mad at somebody. <laughs> oh, read the text. They said God is mad at some, somebody. There's something wrong on this ship. This is the storm ain't a regular storm. All right. All right. And Jonah said, you know what this means? This means I'm the one. You might throw me overboard because if you throw me overboard, y'all going to live. If you don't, y'all going to die because I'm the problem. And you got to confess when you're the problem. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. They threw him over. You know they threw him over, boy. Yeah. But the quickness. <laughs> That's something you can go on with, too. Because when you tell folk, when you really confess and let people know you're the problem in their life, they ought to throw you overboard. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> the Bible says a great fish swallowed up. Right where he went by trying to go. <laughs> All I'm trying to say is a blessing when God got his hands on you. Yeah. When he will let you go. Yeah. There's an assignment on your life. Yeah. Your life matters because it's not just about you. Yeah. So move in your now. Understand what God is doing in your life now. Because yeah. now is all you have. We can try to comprehend to understand what tomorrow going to bring, what the husband going to feel like, the kids. Yeah, we that may or may not work out. But all I got now, God, what do you want from me now? Yes. Live in my now. In all thy ways acknowledge God. So my now can bless you. And as I move in my now, everything else going to work out. Amen. Does that make any sense to you? Amen. Tell your neighbor, don't move if God ain't with you. Don't move if God ain't with you. Put your hands together and give God some praise. Right. I want my faith, my fortune, and my future to be directed by God. Amen. Mm. I want him to take my little bit, like he did the two fish and five loaves of bread, and make it more than enough. Amen. That little boy had no idea. He brought that lunch to feed uh, over 5,000. He had no idea. He thought he was going to eat. I thank God for how he does things because God has a way of doing things that keeps reminding you that it's him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because if he didn't do it, you would think you did. I put something on Facebook and invitations extended. I put something on Facebook that some time ago that said, God will never bless you beyond your need for him. Amen. Yes. He'll never do it. Because if he bless you beyond your need for him, you'll never need him. Yeah. And we need God. Amen. So God always leaves us in a position where we need him. Amen. 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 And if you're here, and you want to give your life to Christ. You want to make this church your home. You want this person to be your pastor, your spiritual comfort when you come at this time. Amen. Amen.